name is Rafael Rangel. I'm a Venezuelan artist, and I uh, work with um, different mediums like painting, sculpture, and I'm I'm based in Miami. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I uh, I work with different mediums, uh, with drawing, with paper, with with, with uh, uh, linen. Um, and at the same time, I, I do sculptures in stainless steel and every type of material. Sometimes I even use sound. <laughs> it's uh, any medium I can get my hands on. <laughs> my relationship with colors, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very intuitive. I vaguely do any like re real color studies. In the in the work that I'm doing right now, I work before I was um, um, working from photog photography, so I was doing color studies. But right now, it's more it's more about intuition. Well, right now I'm working on a series that it's um, called uh, "We're Almost There," and it's about uh, uh, displacement. So when 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 like people go to different countries, so um, there are many things that happens. So and 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 sometimes, uh, or many times, you have to like cross a desert. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the desert, there's reference there that I that I use, uh, mostly from different deserts all over the world. I believe that uh, every time you move, uh, the everything changes. Mm -hmm. And it's a different culture. It's a different light. So, so it's not only culturally, but um, visually too. So, so, uh, um, and I do believe the the artwork has a lot to do with the space that you work in. So, uh, the studio influences a lot the 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 way you work and the work itself. So, uh, for example, here in Miami, the light is very pink. So all of a sudden, pink starts appearing into my work, you know? and uh, it's it just happens. It's not it's 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 it's, it's part of, of it's an organic process that here's some of my work. I can show you some more here. And I have this uh, work on paper here. I think it relates because, um, if, for example, the use of charcoal in a rough way or in an aggressive way, and and some spray paint and 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 even the the oil and oil sticks, it's more like primitive. It's not it's not as as sophisticated as when you use a brush, and and using the material in certain ways they uh, it kind of reflects a little bit of 
of that culture, the culture from the street. Good thing about this city is that I I I feel that I'm very close to the rest of the world because you you there are people here from all over the world and 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 it's a port city so uh, you get you get a culture from all over it's like a hub where you can connect easily to the rest of the world inspiration it's um a very wide word and the way i i work is that i work hard so sometimes i feel uh, good sometimes i feel bad but i go to the studio every day so uh, work is my inspiration working hard <laughs> super different from caracas um everything the the the, the culture the 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 light, uh, the uh, unfortunately in Caracas, you, you don't see like uh, people from all over. And, and I, I, I like the, the cultural exchange. So it's different there. I work through series and it depends on the series, the, 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 the needs of the series that I'm, that I'm working at, at the moment. Sometimes I, I do three, four, five pieces at the same time. But then I've worked in other series that I've worked only one piece at a time. So it depends. It depends on the series. And many things happen after, after uh, uh, the pandemic. And, and, and one of the things is a good thing is that uh, we all for doing this right now. <laughs> So it's a very good thing. I, I believe that uh, uh, through technology, we were able to, to even get more connected and, and, and the exchange of culture, it's been wider. So, so that's a very, very good thing. And you're gonna be surprised. Uh, um, one of my favorite artists is uh, Chiba Ishii. Uh, when I was very young, I was 19, I went to Beijing and and, and I, I, I discovered him so, and I was completely fascinated by him and 